Hi guys, welcome to your September 2021. This is going to be the What Aren't They Telling You Time is Reader Week 1 bonus for the beautiful sign of Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Aries, everything you need is below in the description box. Let's go ahead and take a look at what's going on with your partner and the bonus energy. We are going to be getting energy that surrounds you and a person that loves you, okay? We're going to be finding out how they feel, okay? If you're new here with me, hello, hello. If you are returning, welcome back. If you are subscribed to the Tribe and What's Good Fan Bam, hello to my members, my patrons, as well as my Coffee Club members. Um, a few other things, Aries Collective. We did go live last night, have not done it in a, in a while, had some fun. Go and check out your new moon in Virgo um, affirmation. I did uh, pull a spirit junkie oracle. Um, it was nine to row. I went old school, so that was fun. So if you're interested in knowing um, how the new moon that we're going through right now, I'm sure it's going to be leaving soon, is affecting you, you can go and click that. Your horoscopes are up. Um, Aries, Aries, Aries. Your September monthly energy read for your collective is up on channel two. Um, you don't have to search for that channel. The links are below. They always are. Even if I didn't post anything over there, I always link that channel just so you can go and check those messages out. Okay. And your reading starts now. All right. So the first card that your your cut that the person that loves you is in their energy is unclear. Okay. The second card, they are unclear about some things, by the way. Um, uh oh, toxic traits in the relationship. Maybe they're coming through and saying that this is what they have dealt with. Maybe there are things in this relationship with you two that has been, been very triggering for them. In the heart place, we are overcoming the odds. All right, what else do we have for Aries Collective? But you are the soulmate. All right, so they're coming through and saying, yes, I don't believe that this is you being toxic. I believe that this is the toxicity that they have had to. This is, they almost come into the relationship Aries Collective in survival mode. So when you see what it is, um, when you see actually what it's what, what is clarifying in the main energy, um, in the main video, you'll understand. But I'm not feeling that from this. I'm feeling that they were abused previously or they are coming in and saying that you are. Um, and when you guys argue and you go back and forth and you're talking at each other and you're not talking to one another, that is what's triggering them into the old patterns of the old person or their past that they were in. This is what I'm intuitively picking up. You are their divine masculine and you are masculine then vice versa. Then you are their divine feminine. Take it as it resonates. However, we do have third party here. So um, that's interesting to me. Now we're going to go ahead and get their energy. Two cards. I'm sorry, your energy. Two cards which represents your energy area. So they're saying that is the third party. Now, I wasn't picking up on that this was you. Let's see how you feel about this. You say friends. So maybe you don't have a third party. You just have a lot of friends, Aries. Collective, what else do you have? What do we have for Aries? How do they feel about this? Show me, spirit. Getting to know you. All right, so right off the bat... And the top of the deck is the Divine Feminine. That could not have come out any better than it already has. Overall, you guys are um, 20, Divine Feminine and Masculine Energy here. Um, there could have been the start of a relationship. Um, there's definitely some confusion. There is a lack of clarity between you two. There is definitely a difference between what they are construing as toxicity and odds that you guys have to overcome. And they do have third party here. They're saying that Aries, you have a lot of friends. Maybe you have people that you communicate with, that you are friends with, and they don't like those relationships with those individuals. Um, that's the reason why they're unclear. A lot of things that they have argued with you about um, Aries, um, has been because of the fact that 
they are unclear about some of your relationship dealings, your quote unquote friendship. Okay, let's go ahead and clarify unclear for Aries partner, sun, moon, rising, and Venus, or the person that they are connected with. We're going to clarify all the way around, starting with them. What are they unclear about? One second, and that is being clarified by the Nine of Cups. They're unclear because they feel like you guys have had successes. You have been successful. You are someone that they want to be with. Unfortunately, you represent a not um, a, a wish fulfilled for them. And they feel like maybe they're unclear because... They've been successful with you. Take a moment to look at your successes and whether or not they are truly fulfilling to you. Allow yourself to reflect with honesty, honesty and make the correct assessment or adjustment. Relationship abuse is being clarified by the Eight of Pentacles. This Eight of Pentacles, um, maybe this has been because someone didn't commit to them in the past. Okay. You planted the seeds and are at hard work building your reality. Um, they have been in relationships, Aries, where people have not committed to them. And this relationship has been very triggering. Overcoming the odds is being clarified by judgment. Right now, they're trying to work on themselves. Soulmates is being clarified by the Knight of Wands. They are looking at you as a playboy or playgirl, uh, apparently. Um, they're saying that they're very passionate about this. However, there's a sense of excitement and passion building in the relationship. Don't be afraid to feed the flame, but be aware of where you or your partner may be acting too impulsively. So um, they feel like they appreciate and love your enthusiasm but there is something that seems like it's very fickle in your energy. The argument is being clarified by Hermit. They have went in for some self-reflection and introspection because of everything that's been going on. Um, the Divine Masculine is being clarified by the Five of Wands. There's been conflict and quarreling and competition, which definitely explains this third party. Clarify third party for me, please. It is being clarified by the Nine of Swords. They are up at night losing sleep about this situation. So they feel like you are a wish fulfilled. You, They feel like you are the wish. They do not want to lose you. Um, they feel like they have been through hell with you. Um, you may be feeling a little bit different, Aries. Let's go ahead and stop speculating and get your energy. Clarify, friends. Knight of Swords. You've been defensive of your friendships, okay? Give me a second. Clarify getting to know you, and that is the three of pentacles. So there is a third person. Aries, right now, um, this is a truth that you need to um, that you need to reveal. This three of pentacles and getting to know you, you are financially obligated to another party. I don't know what this is. Maybe you have property with somebody. Maybe you pay child support, Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, whatever it is. Even if it is not the situation that you're financially tied to, your partner is feeling some sort of defensive energy with you in speaking your truth regarding your friends. And you obviously feel a different way about the relationship status here because this three of pentacles is indicating that have faith in the physical unfolding of your divine partnership. This is a divine partnership. A merging of energies between divine masculine and feminine, which I've already shown you, and source is being manifested as you embark on your mission of embodying sacred love. Now, the three of pentacles is here indicating that maybe you guys got together. Your person felt something quickly. Maybe you guys started, they stopped dating. Maybe this was not a relation. I'm sorry, not a situation that you guys sat down and talked about. I talk about this a lot 
when I say that people don't know how to date. Um, it, I'm, I'm, it, it's twofold. A lot of the times there are different dating parameters, different things that's happening in the relationship and no one is communicating on when something changes. One party is benefiting. This is a, um, a one party is depleted and one party is, is, is benefiting. And what's happening as a result is one party wants to take it further and the other party is kind of happy the way that things are. There is no communication about it. And then when one party, which is cross watcher, comes to you and feels like they want to take this to the next level, they want to call it something due to their past issues. They want to know exactly what they are doing with you. They've been in situations, Aries Collective, where they have been through this before and the arguments are stemming because they do not want history to repeat itself. You, on the other hand, is coming up in an energy where you kind of wanted it fun, uh, you wanted it fun and flirty. What happened was is that the relationship went somewhere else and you couldn't stop the train. So now that you're there, you're acknowledging these feelings, but you're, you're, you're coming in with an energy where you're not quite ready to make the commitment yet, possibly, but you want to do things or benefit from things that committed people do. <laughs> Whatever it is, this is how it's coming up. Now, if you, you take it as it resonates, maybe the two cards that's um, indicating Aries energy it's a little bit deeper. Well, it's probably going to be a little bit deeper. How can two cards possibly let me know everything that you're experiencing? But what I am saying is, is that just judging off of your energy, you guys are parting the red, the, the, the red sea is parted on how you feel because Aries, you, you have friends and you kind of are looking at this situation as a, I'm still getting to know you type of situation. However, I know that it's a divinely guided situation because not only is this three of pentacles identifying the fact that this is the person that's for you. You may not be necessarily ready to admit that or to accept that. So the reason why, and not to mention, I know that it's divinely guided because obviously this is your soulmate. Um, and maybe that's just something that you're not ready to um, you, you, maybe this was a part that you were not ready to experience. This was something that you were not ready to go into. You were not looking for it to be this deep, but you're here. So this is what I am showing. They, they, they have, you guys have had some type of falling out. Um, your person pulled their energy back a little bit. They're trying to pause to gain a better perspective or going inside to figure out what, how they should handle this. Make no mistake, though, this is a, a relationship that is supposed to happen. You're supposed to experience this. Um, you are a little defensive of what's going on. Um, and this is the reason why they feel like someone is competing for their attention. And they're up at night losing sleep over it. And the fact that the third party came out, that goes to show me that you guys obviously are not on the same page. So the best thing that I can do here is to let you know that you guys have to sit down and figure out what this is. And Cross Watcher, if, if Aries is not ready to go there with you, then that's fine. They, they're defending their relationship with their friends because they feel like... This relationship is not committed. Now, for some of you guys, you did experience a full-blown third party. And Aries did agree that this was a committed relationship. And you've had some issues with this. Um, it has a lot to do with third party because it's here. There's been arguing. There's been fights. And it could be that right now you guys are not even speaking. Okay. Um, so that is kind of where we're at. Um, they don't want to lose you, but they're hurt by this third party situation. Um, I do really feel like Aries is not really acknowledging this as a full blown third party situation collective um, cross watcher. 
Um, but you know, you have to take it as it resonates. Now, when we go into the main energy, um, we're going to be talking about what you're not saying. Um, now that we have clarified your romantic intentions, we're going to get into the meat and potatoes of this reading. So like, share, subscribe to the Marvelous Tribe. Thank you so much. And I will see you in your main video. And please stay up tonight because the voting links are going to be dropped tonight. We're going to be dropping the next set to model. Okay. Bye Aries. Thank you.